वेलकम बैक टू क्राफ्टी मिरा की इज़ यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज़ अदिति एंड आई एम बैक विद अ मिनी स्लिम लाइन कार्ड फॉर योर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी यूजिंग टू ऑफ द फ्रेम्स फ्राम द बर्थडे स्टार मिनी स्लिम लाइन डाई सेट एंड टू बिगिन विथ आई एम लाइटली स्मूशिंग सम इंक सो आई एम यूजिंग अ पीस ऑफ एसिटेट एंड जस्ट स्मूशिंग माई इंक डिरेक्टली फ्राम द इंक पैड ऑन टू द एसिटेट मिस्टिंग इट विथ वॉटर and then flipping that and smooshing all that ink on my white card base now i cut the smallest frame die on white card stock and i will be cutting the next size on black card stock just for a nice layer here you do see two pieces but i end up just using one of these for my card now apart from that i am going to be using the amazing bloom stamp set and the coordinated dies for my card today so first up i am picking out this bigger floral cluster and just placing it in a way to create a nice black flower outline for my card so this is something that i want in the background and i will have smaller blooms in the foreground and just just for more added interest i sometimes like to do this so just using black ink i am stamping that larger floral cluster and you can see for a mini slim line card parts of that floral cluster are overhanging and that doesn't really matter it just gives me a nice little background detail for the card i like to do this at least two times just so that i get a nice crisp clear image and um I am then picking out a sentiment from the same stamp set and placing it where I'd like on my card so I've chosen the top place almost as if this floral cluster is pointing towards the sentiment and it's anchored between um within rather the floral cluster so I am using my other piece to stamp the other florals that I want to use and here i'm just showing you a trick so i have these floral clusters and i want to make sure that the die perfectly aligns when i've stamped them so i am picking the stamp and just aligning it with the die inserting it into that coordinated die on the back of the die and it just nicely sits and fits right in and then placing that on my paper and i will lift the stamps up on my acrylic plate and that way once i have stamped these images i know that the die will perfectly fit and cut these out for me so something i like to do when you know i have this say a little flexible stem and i want to make sure i've aligned everything perfectly well now some of that is overhanging but that doesn't matter it's just a layer for my floral uh, bouquet and i don't necessarily need the entire stem so again i am just stamping three of these using black pigment ink and once that is done i am going to color them so for my coloring medium i thought i'll pick something different this time and i brought out my karin dash water soluble crayons sometimes it's just very easy to use these and color up an image for an image especially where the floral cluster is small um the petals are smaller and there's not too much coloring involved i like to bring these out and use these um because i just find that they are so therapeutic and relaxing so how i use them is i've picked out a yellow crayon and i directly lay out a little pigment on the petals of the flower and then i'm using a water brush pen to get that pigment moving around so since these are water soluble crayons that means that they are reactive with water and then they work pretty much like watercolor pigment so just building it layer by layer step by step i first go in with the yellow and then once i'm happy with that i add in a tinge of orange to bring in a little more shading and depth however i'm not too focused on creating highlights and shadows and all of that for this coloring this is more of a simple loose coloring style just to get my floral petals colored 
yet have a little bit of an organic shading. So I do this slowly, step by step, adding a little pigment one at a time to each of the petals and then diluting that with my water brush pen and dragging the pigment around. Once I'm happy, I'm just picking in a darker orange and coloring the flower center and then I go in with a green for the stem of this. So that looks good and for the next floral cluster, I am going to start with red. So I lay out the red pigment in the center of the flower and drag all of that out with my watercolor brush pen, nicely making sure that I have a darker edge, um, rather darker pigment at the center. And once that looks good, I am picking this deep magenta or fuchsia um, crayon and adding that at the tips of the petal and dragging that inwards because the blend of the red with this color really gives me a nice mid-tone and creates for a nice shading on these flower petals. So once I know that one flower looks good, I am going to repeat that same process on all the flowers of this particular cluster by laying out the red at the center and first mixing all of that and dragging that with my watercolor brush pen and then bringing in the fuchsia on the tips of the petal dragging it inwards creating nice beautiful blends so once that is complete i am going to move to the leaves and for the leaves i start off with the light green again and then bring in a darker green just building color um, on the leaves just in the same way that I did on the flower plate petals. So adding the light green first at the base of the leaf, blending that in with water, then going in with the darker green from the tip of the leaf inwards, just highlighting the vein area, creating a nice shaded leaf and coloring the stem in as well in the same way to complete the coloring for this particular floral cluster. For the last one, I am going to treat that as just a leaf cluster and so I begin with yellow. I lay out yellow at the base of the petal or leaf and then lay in light green and then I pick my watercolor brush pen and start blending the two colors together. So earlier you saw me laying out one color, blending that with the brush pen, then bringing in another. But in this case, I'm laying out two colors, blending that out adding tinges of orange blending that out and then going in with a darker green right at the tip and this just creates a nice beautiful shaded look for these uh, leaves i make sure to blend everything out nicely and then i am done with coloring all of these clusters and i'm going to use a coordinated dye and die cut these elements so now i have that black second layer that I spoke about so I've just used some foam tape and adhered the uh, white card front to that black background piece and I am just playing with the composition to add these floral clusters right at the bottom of the card and in that way you can see my bigger floral cluster just become something in the background. I am going to use foam tape once I'm happy with the placement to create a little more depth and dimension bringing in that interest of the background and the foreground with the foreground having these colored clusters and the background just having the outline stamp. So that looks good and I'm happy with everything. I am going to go ahead and splatter some white and black acrylic ink. Splatter to me always adds that extra little touch that makes all the colors pop and adds that much needed element to the cards. So I'm also using my crayons by just scribbling them on an acrylic block and picking uh, water with a wet paintbrush, just diluting and adding splatter for some colored splatter. To complete the card, I am using black sequins just to add two spots, creating a sense of movement and embellishing this further. With that, my mini slimline card is complete and ready. I hope this inspires you to pull out your floral stamp and create a mini slimline card for yourself. Until the next time, take care and bye-bye.